Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann Manera, and welcome to another live column along here on this Wednesday, last second to last day of January, January 30th. Pretty cold day out there in the world for most of us. Luckily, it's not that cold here today, but I'm thinking of all of you that are out there and uh, how cold it is. So, how is everyone doing this morning? Is everyone braving the elements? Is everyone indoors, nice and toasty, nice and warm, I hope? Um, and uh, making sure that they have heat. And one thing you can do um, when it's freezing out is watch a color along, right? So let me just adjust my camera a little bit because this camera is just, has a mind of its own today. I don't know what the story is. Okay, there we go. I think that's a little bit better. Um, so let's say good morning to everyone, first of all. So good morning, Holly. Good morning, Chris. Good morning to Mamie. Hey, good morning, Lois. Uh, Lois is saying it's <coughs> too cold for me to type. Well, I hope it's too cold in your house and not outside of your house, right? Um, I don't even want to know what it is here. I have to open the door too many times for the dogs. That's more than enough exposure for me. Oh, no kidding. Um, not putting a toe outside. Yeah, it's not that cold here. I don't know what the temperature is, but um, I'm just going to keep telling myself that because it's supposed to get cold. I will say this, my backyard um, is very icy. Come here, Skull, uh, Paisley. Come here. Come over here. My backyard is very icy, so it's, it's pretty cold out there. Paisley, we have to say good morning to everyone. Good morning, Jamie. Hey, Lynn Miller. Uh, who else is with us this morning? Uh, Judy is saying good morning, but I don't think that Judy is staying with us today. Right, Judy? I thought you would take it off for a little bit. Um... And Rosie Eckhart has joined us this morning. Good morning to my friend Alice. Um, who else? Holly's here with us this morning. I may have said good morning to Holly already. And I don't know. I don't know if I missed anybody. Did I miss anybody? Hey, if I missed you and didn't say your name, then good morning. 24 degrees in New Jersey. Hey, that's about what it is here. Um, but I'm just going to just keep convincing myself that it is not as cold as it is. Um... But I know that Chris and Lois are in, in, in areas that are pretty pretty cold. Chris is saying it's negative 21 and negative 56 wind chill, 66 degrees in my apartment. Um, when I get up at 3 a.m., Lois is telling us the house with 59 furnace has not turned off yet. Hey, happy hump day, Alexandria. How's it going, my friend? So, um, you know, it's almost like, can you even believe it's that cold, right? Let's get that out there. Can you even believe it's that cold? But what else can you do but just kind of like, I don't know, be thankful that you're in the house, right? Be thankful that your um, internet connection is working. So, because I was wondering about that. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Donna. Do you think that the internet connections are going to be um, interrupted in the middle of this uh, cold temperature? Hey, Bonnie Miller. Hey, Alice is saying that it's 21 degrees. Hey, that's a heat wave, right, Alice? Um, but certainly the best thing to do, um, when it's cold, like it is in Jamie's areas, area of negative, uh, 41 degrees wind chill, um, is stay inside, color, watch color alongs, right? What a better, what better thing to do? So I'm flipping through color along volume 10 and today is the last day for color along volume 10. Um, so that's kind of, uh, sad, but the happy part about today is that we're going to talk about color along volume 11. And we're also going to announce the winner of a copy of Color Along Vol Volume 11 uh, that for a giveaway that was just hosted. Um, and the giveaway was sponsored by one a colorist that remained that would like to remain anonymous. And um, what an incredible group of people. I say it every single time. And um, the nicest people. If you ever want to just find a nice group of people and you anyone has, ever says to you, boy, people just are not nice. Well, they have not joined a coloring group. So, um, and they certainly have not joined my coloring group because this coloring group, um, this group is the nicest group of people I've ever met in my life. So we are going to announce the winner for that giveaway. So that's for Color Along Volume 11. The other thing I'm going to show you today while we're uh, coloring, while we're, we're live this morning uh, for our Color Along meeting, as we like to call it, is I'm going to show you um, a little packet that goes with uh, the Color Along Volume 11 book. And Color Along Volume 11, I've been talking about it a lot. And I know you probably, I find probably sound just like a, a broken record at this point. Um, but the reason why I'm talking about it so much is because I'm really excited about this book because this book is different than all of the other Color Along books that I have um, that I have come out with. So uh, up to this point, they were just coloring tutorials, right? Coloring lessons, free to watch. Uh, Color Along 10 took it a step further where we got to have 
um, the actual book, um, book people that own the book got to be in a private group and you got to have a, the information a little more organized. Well, Color Along 11 is taking it a step further once again and Color Along 11, Volume 11, is taking it to the point where we're now going to introduce artists throughout history and we're going to learn a little bit about art history. I'm going to kind of uh, give, put a, give a little bit of a, a taste of what um, different art styles were and we're going to start off the very first color along for color along volume 11 with the pointillism technique and we're going to learn about different artists um, that have created pointillism and the the kind of the founders of the pointillism uh, art movement art technique uh, in painting and people that have this book are part of a private group and in that private group everyone will get um, which has already been released in the group actually so you can go ahead and print it out um, a little packet that I put together. It's just kind of a, a four-page packet, cover two pages inside and then a page for notes, to get describing and giving you information about pointillism, introduction to a couple of different artists, and um, talking about how pointillism can be applied to coloring pages with, with some examples. So that's kind of a taste of what Color Along Volume 11 is going to be all about. And I'm excited about it because it's not something that you can get anywhere else except if you purchase... Um, except if you purchase, I'm laughing at Diana's comment. I've got to say it as soon as I get finished saying this, but, um, the only way you get that, these packets for each one will be by having the book. The book is only $14.99. It's kind of like camp for 22 weeks, um, meeting on Mondays and Wednesdays. Hey, Diana's saying just now city workers started a jackhammer on my block. So all the dogs are barking and howling. Um, I may not hear you, but I'm watching. So, um. Uh, yeah, talk about uh, when there's, um, when there are, uh, when you want things to be quiet, Diana, how much they don't. And Paisley is saying, what the heck? What, where is my toy? Here, Paisley, let me see what I, what we lost. Let's get Paisley something. Hang on. is 1499 so let's talk about this I mean let me uh, take a look at this color along volume 11 so uh, color along volume 11 <clears throat> is um, available as a hard copy on Amazon and it's available as a PDF on my website you could join at any time between February between now and April 17th I mean if you said hey I'm not really sure and then all of a sudden February 20th rolls around and you're thinking I want to be part of that you can still buy the book and you can go back and watch the, the watch the replay so um, this book comes with a um, access to a private group where all of the information will be um, and that's where the more information will be the other thing that's happening with color along volume 11 is there will be a page or there is a page on my website and you will get a password to have access to that page. So it's a password protected page. And you'll get um, a password for that page and you'll be able to look at um, information just on that website rather than having to access it on Facebook. Just in case, you never know, right? Just in case you can't get onto Facebook for some reason, but you can get on a website. So the first page that we're gonna be coloring um, for Color Along Volume 11 is a page from Cupid's View. And take a look at this for a minute. And we're going to be using the pointillism technique. And then members of the book of the members of the Color Long Eleven group will get um, this packet. And in this packet um, is information that talks about pointillism. And we talk about two two artists that were the founders of the pointillism uh, movement. Um, Sarah, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if the coupon. You could use 10%, uh, that's the coupon. You could use a coupon called January, code January. Hey, let's get, Scarlet lost something. Hang on a second, you guys. Oh, Scarlet.
code January. Um, this book starts on February 4th, February 4th to February, and it goes all the way to, to April 17th. So this is the first uh, snippet of what will happen on day one. Um, the um, Abby, you can certainly get it after the third. That's fine. And then I'll, what happens is as soon as you get the book, then, um, I add you to the, to the group. So let's talk about pointillism first of all. So we go over two different artists, George Surratt, George Surratt and Paul Signac. And these are the two artists that actually were the founders of pointillism. And they first were impressionists. So they turned and took uh, impressionism and turned it and now developed this new technique called pointillism using dots. And the whole, we talk about the, we talk about pointillism a lot while we're coloring uh, during color alongs. Um, but what this book um, really focuses on and this little packet really focuses on is taking a look at these two artists and there's links to these artists. You can see more about them and talking about the proximity of the dots. So the closer the dots, the dots are, then the more of a shadow will be created. And if you really step back um, from these paintings, I mean, if you were looking at these in real life, and even when you apply it to a coloring page, the whole point is they need to be viewed a little further back. So there's a page here that talks about pointillism and talks about these two little artists, a little bit of information, and then some more information about applying the technique to coloring pages. And then it also comes with a section for notes. The PD, there's a link for the PDF on my website also, Cheryl. Um, the link for the, um, the link for the, let me see something here. The link, um, yeah, the, the link is on my website. And um, so all, so they'll be on that password protected page. So the information for the password protected page has been posted in the Color Along Volume 11 Facebook group. I will be sending out an email to all of the members that are all the members of that group um, so that they all have that password. And this way you can just go on the website rather than having to log into paint to uh, Facebook. You could just do it that way also. Um, so any questions about it? Diana is saying this is that's great information. Thank you so much. I think it's action packed. Um, I have a, a, a background in art history, so I'm pretty confident that I can do this. I hope I can do it, right? Um, I don't want to get, um, I want to give you enough information that you learn something, but I don't want to give you too much information that it's overwhelming. It won't be any tests except for Lynn Miller because Lynn's into having a test, so I don't know. We'll have to give Lynn her own test. Lynn wants a test, but no one else wants a test. Hey, Melody. <clears throat> All right, so this morning, let's get back to coloring for this morning, right? Um, I thought you were telling us that it was 96 degrees in your neck of the woods, Jamie, but I'm now, I'm, now I'm reading something else. All right, so this page is from my book called Diabetes Mantras, and I'm doing a mixed media. Mixed media, <laughs> Lynn's laughing. Mixed media is all about using a variety of different mediums. Scarlet is in the background chomping on some sort of container that I've given her, so that's that crackling noise going on in the background. She's quiet. It's keeping her busy. It's okay, Scarlett. You're good. Go ahead. It's all right. Um, so the first thing I'm going to use is colored pencils. And I've got these black widow colored pencils. I'm not swatching today because I just feel like it's just too much going on. It's, I'm, it's too much multitasking for me today. But if you'd like to swatch on your end, then feel free. So this is, um, these is Black Widows, and I'm using the set that doesn't have any names on it. But this is kind of like a fuchsia color, magenta color, I guess. Um, I don't know. This is kind of a magenta-ish fuchsia type thing. So I think the color along 11 is going to be exciting. This, I mean, that's the first day, uh, February 4th. The second day, February 6th, is going to be um, learning about uh, the artist Piet Mondrian. And we'll be coloring a page in the Piet Mondrian style or influenced by him. I mean, it's not going to look like his paintings, but we're going to color something that will be influenced by Mondrian. So that'll be exciting. And then there'll be some color alongs that are just uh, regular um, color alongs. Uh, Anna's saying we're not art majors, we just want to color. Well, the whole point is that to merge this whole art history element into this, Anna, is not to give you too much information, but to kind of let you know, hey, you know what? We could 
um, actually in enhance our coloring pages and make do something that's really cool if we learned about a different artist. So, um, I mean, you don't have to tell anybody about it. It's not going to, we don't need to take a test, you know? So what do you think, Anna? You think you want to do it? Alexandra is saying, I need a book of these. I need a book of these word man dollars, just saying. This is the diabetes mantras one. No, no test. But I bet what will happen, believe it or not, I'm going to tell you guys this, though. What will happen at the end of Color Along Volume 11 is that you will probably be able to actually identify some of the paintings. And we'll do something in a fun way, not really a test, but I, I would bet that I would bet that we'll be able to, uh, you, I'll be able to put a painting out and you'll be able to say who that artist is. Um, just because of just the relaxed, the relaxed way of learning in the, in the color alongs where it's not something that maybe is for a test, but we just want to kind of be exposed to it. Um, but I, I, I would bet you'll be able to name at least three or four artists throughout the whole thing. Bonnie's saying, I would find this interesting. Thank you, Bonnie. I'm interested in art history and different on different artists. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, I've always loved art history. It's been my, um, it was kind of my favorite, favorite thing to do. I mean, just kind of sit there, learn about everything. And I mean, even now, it's something you just kind of keep with you for a long time. I mean, you don't, it does it just doesn't really go away, you know? Um, Anna is saying, I know you will make it fun, just my college, college overloaded brain is like, oh my God. Yeah, I hear you, Anna. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. All right, so let's use some yellow for this background section here. And then maybe I'll put some dots in to enhance it. Maybe I'll put something else in. I don't know. This is kind of going to be just kind of a relaxing uh, coloring page, just kind of laughing about it. And this yellow is a nice contrast between uh, next to the, the kind of the magenta color. So I think I'll put some blue. And maybe I'll just kind of put some dots along the side. Now this is not really kind of, this is more of a decorative dot. What's wrong, Scarlet? Oh, my dogs are hating winter. They're saying, when is it ever going to be nice enough for us to go outside and just hang outside, you know? Um, Lynn is saying, it's art appreciation. You will be able to go into a museum and identify what you like and don't like. Exactly, Lynn. Exactly. It's more of an art appreciation versus an art history. Art history, you need to be able to tell the name of the painting, the artist who created the painting. You need to be able to say the year or the... the uh, the era that the painting was from, and you'll need to be able you need to be able to say the uh, the the art period was from. So you would have to look at a painting and say that artist is so and so. It was uh, created in 1900. It is from the Baroque period, and um, you need to know the medium. There's a lot of information um, that you would need to do. And what we'll also do is Melody is saying, I'm, "Lynn, I've never been in a museum," and a lot of people have never been in, the, in an art museum and it's intimidating sometimes right just to kind of even think about walking around so what we'll do also with this book is we'll do kind of like a virtual walkthrough of a museum online and we're gonna i'm actually in the process of setting up some different uh video software so we'll be able to do that so bear with me with that part of it but i want to be able to kind of take the museum to you we'll have links to different websites so you can kind of look we're in a perfect time, a perfect day and age where you don't even have to go to the museum, Melody. Everything is here with us, you know? So you can look at the museum at the Louvre in from in Paris and you can look at it right online. You can look at the uh, at the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art right here online. You don't have to even go anywhere. So it's really interesting, an interesting time to be alive and to be able to see these. We need a road trip so everyone can go to a museum. Yeah. Okay, Lynn. Maybe we need like a bus. We need to just like take a bus, right? Hey, Shanna. Hey, I need to do something with these dogs. They need to go outside, of course, right? Um, as we're coloring.
Yeah, so you just kind of really need to just uh, embrace the time that we're in and be able to... Um, it's amazing what we can see online, right? It's amazing what we can look at. You don't have to go anywhere. Holly's saying, when I was a kid, one of my drawings was sold at a museum. Oh, how exciting. And it, you know, it's, it can be intimidating about actually physically going to a museum. First of all, there's a lot of walking involved. Um, that's one thing that I think. If you're not, if you're, if you're, ha if you have trouble actually getting around with mobility issues, it, it's a lot of walking. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do the blue over here, but that's okay. Because there should have been another line. Who drew this page anyway? <laughs> First time I've ever had the urge to hurt a city worker, Diana is saying. Oh, the noise is unreal. I can't stand that noise, Diana. I don't know if you can hear me saying that, but a jackhammer. Um, I feel like I can feel it inside my stomach. I can, like, feel it in my in my body. Are there art museums in your area? Have you avoided them on purpose? Are you asking that me that question, Lynn? Lynn, let's go shop and go to lunch instead. <laughs> Holly, Melody. Hey, Abby. I don't know if I say good morning to you, but hello, Abby. How are you? Lois is saying we're going to the Minneapolis Institute of Art Sunday for the Egypt exhibit. Oh, that's going to be exciting. I don't remember the precise name, but things found underwater, underwater from two different ancient cities. Oh, how exciting. That's going to be awesome. No, art museums in Charleston, West Virginia, never been my kind of thing anyway. Most colleges and universities have art museums, Linda's saying. I'm right here in Providence with the Rhode Island School of Design Art Museum. So, um, and I want to say that I go there all the time, but sadly I don't. It's not somewhere that I go often. Um, and, of course, I'm close to Boston, too, so I'm close to the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art, but... Um, I mean, to so the Boston Museum of Art. Not the Boston Museum of Art. What am I saying? I'm, I'm getting all my cities mixed up. Yeah, most colleges and universities do have a, have some sort of gallery, even if it's just a gallery, you know? Um, there's a lot of galleries around me. A lot of galleries, they even have like, um, they have like an art night in the, in the summertime. They have like a, a gallery night. And you get on this little trolley that looks like a bus. It's not really a trolley. It doesn't have like, like a, like a true trolley would have, you know, like the cord across the top of it. But they use this bus that looks like a trolley and they call it the art trolley. And you jump on this bus and you kind of go museum hopping or gallery hopping for the night. Um, sadly, I've never even been to it. It's been one of those things. <laughs> And we need to have our own, actually. It's been one of those things where um, I just never had a chance. Like, every time there's been a time I wanted to go, it was something that I couldn't go to. Crazy. Yeah, most museums have stores in them, too. Oh, thank you for sharing that, Diana. All right, Shanna. Have a good day at work. So now this part, right, so I've got all colored pencils here. And now for this other section here, I'm going to go with some dots. And I'm going to go with this kind of orange color. Just to kind of add some dots with the markers. With, with some markers. And you know, I think I'm going to go grab some water too. And maybe uh, do some watercolor with these Crayola tip, uh, Super Tips. That would be kind of fun because you can actually use uh, Crayola Super Tips as kind of a watercolor. So let me go get that, actually, get some water. Melody, you and Paul need to go through an art museum, Holly is telling Melody.
and we know this that you could do this with these um with these markers so i'm gonna um this is kind of wet let's take this pink color and if you take some uh take the marker on a piece of plastic this is a plastic lid and i just kind of do this to it just kind of uh, you put the marker on the lid and it's obviously not sticking, right? Then if I take a paintbrush and put some water on it, it kind of, here we go, just add some water to that. It becomes watercolor. So then I can actually do this to it. So it actually turns into watercolor paint. How cool is that? Kind of cool, isn't it? So I'm just kind of doing these little sections here. Put a little bit more water on there. I think I need a little bit more paint. Do you think he would be bored, Melody? Maybe he needs to go to a motorcycle museum. All right, so there's that section. Isn't that cool, Abby? It's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, and now I'm just going to kind of add here. Hey, there's just so many museums that you can, um, that you can, or so much art you can look at online. It's unbelievable. Uh, just, I mean, unbelievable. I mean, you can look at anything at all. And we're not, and I mean, it never used to be like that. So... It's a great time to look at what, have access to everything. And you can look at it really close. So I'm just adding some dots here. Okay, so while I'm doing this, we, we're going to announce the winner of Color Along Volume 11, shall we? Do you think that's a good idea? Let's do that. So our winner of Color Along Volume 11, volume 11 is um, Marty Para. And Marty has won um, a physical copy of the book, and which this giveaway was sponsored by an anonymous colorist. And I got in touch with her this morning, and she has already ordered the book, and it's on on its way to you, Marty. So congratulations to Marty. Um, congratulations to Marty. Yeah, a motorcycle museum. There you go. Why not, right? There's a big show in New, in New York, actually, Melody. Um, it's at the Jarvis Center. It's all about uh, motorcycles. They have it every year. I'm, I forgot what month it's in. Lynn is giving us a link to the West Virginia Culture Dialog Museum, State Museum. Oh, cool. Um, I used to like the Field Museum, and I wished I got locked in. Yeah, congratulations to Marty. How cool is that? Um, so at, Marty's been added to the group and her book is on the way. And big shout out and big thank you to the person who, who donated that book. That's unbelievable. You know, it was um, just unbelievable when I get that message from people. It happens a lot. Does it happen anywhere else in any other groups? I don't know. I don't pay attention to stuff like that in other groups. Paisley has decided to put a toy underneath the TV stand, which is very heavy, and now she's laying there crying. I don't know if you can hear her whimpering in the background. Does anybody else have dogs that put to put their toys purposely underneath furniture so that then you have to go get it out from underneath the furniture? She does it all the time. Drives me crazy. Drives me nuts. Okay. So there is our dots there. Kind of cool, right? So now we can put a solid, let's put a solid color um, between uh, these areas that I added that watercolor to. And I think I'm going to go with kind of a, this turquoise blue for this section here. Paisley, I am not going to get up and go move a piece of furniture.
So how long is this crazy cold spell supposed to last? How long are we going to be frozen in? <clears throat> Cats do that. Under the sofa, under the refrigerator. Drives me nuts. It happens in another group that I'm in. Oh, it does? Okay, Chris. Yeah, I can't wait to start Call Along Volume 11 either, Melody. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be like mini camp. Or extended camp. I mean, coloring camp is more of like an intense thing, right? An intensive, where you, it's every day you meet for camp and you, it's, but this is going to be a little more spread out. So it's a little different. A lot of information. Camp is more of fun. This is more like, let's crack open the books. No, it's not going to be that serious. Um, J Jamie's saying, I can donate a book Tuesday to someone if I want, if we want to do another giveaway. That's fine, Jamie, if you want to, just let me know. Send me a message and we'll do it that way. <clears throat> it's going to be 50 degrees where you are on Sunday. Oh, wow, Jamie. And it's negative 41. Negative 41 feel like temperature. It's crazy, isn't it? What do the birds feel like? Do you wonder that? How about the animals? I feel bad for the animals. Maybe Paisley thinks that she's pop cat. I don't know. Let's hope not. We don't. I don't want her to be cat. I don't want her to be a cat. All right, I'm going to use, um, I feel like this needs an orange color. You know, my friend orange. Orange. Right, Alexandria? We'll go with this reddish color. And I'm going to kind of do a heavier pressure there and then lighten up. So all kinds of uh, coloring techniques going on in this page. All kinds of uh, mediums going on. We've got colored pencils. We've got markers. We've got the dot technique. We've got... Um, watercolor using Crayola super tips so a lot of things going on so it's a mixed media type thing type situation happening so friday i have a color along with um a page from uh dawn boyer's new book called magical uh menagerie and i am coloring the page that's posted in the event page which is an owl page and it's free for everyone to get there um Okay, what's, tell us the temperature, Abby, about how cold it is. We're going to laugh at Abby. Come on, Abby. We have to laugh at you. It's 54. Do you have a sweater on, Abby? <laughs> no, I'm only kidding you. <coughs> I know. It's 54 degrees where Abby is, and it's negative 54 degrees where Chris lives. And Paisley says, I don't like either one. I know. Those people in Florida, they're always complaining when it's a little cold, aren't they? Break out the sweater. Chris is cooking steaks on the grill while Marty is, uh, Marty is shivering. I think I have to go get Paisley's toy. Let's hope I can get back up off the floor after I do this. Hang on. Hey, Laurel, Laurel Dill is ready for spring. I'm tired of being cooped up. Where do you live, Laurel? A sweatshirt, Abby. Okay. Still funny. What happened, Katie? Okay, she did have a toy under there. I made it up off the floor without grunting. Maybe I only grunt when I get up off the floor when I'm alone. <clears throat> oh, I, you know, so is everything functioning at that temperature? If they, At these, like, frigid temperatures? I mean, what's happening? Like, uh, like... Like every, is everything moving along? Let's do some more watercolor on this page. Um, I guess we could do light blue. Huntington, Indiana. Is it cold? What's the temperature there, Laurel? So I'm putting this color blue, which is kind of a dark blue. Hey, Beth. I missed what Lynn said that was funny. I'm going to have to go back and look. I like to hibernate so it's okay. As long as I have power, I'm happy. Yeah, Lynn, I, I hear you. 
But, you know, sometimes I just need a breath of fresh air. You know, it's like, it's too much. I gotta say, though, lately, um, I was at the supermarket the other day, and it was freezing in there. It was a breeze. I was more bundled up in the supermarket than I was in, uh, outside. <clears throat> so now I'm adding some water to my, um, my blue. And now I'm going to treat this with water, with this blue color, with watercolor. Pr pretty funky, wouldn't you say, that they can do this? This, this is, the, like, the coolest thing so far. Um... I guess I live a, a sheltered life when I think this is like the coolest thing in, in the world, right? It's okay. You can laugh. It's okay. Hey, Beth. I'm glad you're here. Besides, we know you're on the east, on the west coast, right? So it's early for you. I lost my internet about midnight last night, but everything is closed. No mail either, right, Chris? But like... um. So internet's working okay now. Phone's working okay. Isn't it crazy? Hey, Karen. All right, now look what just happened. I got a little bit of my my pink from the other section, but that's okay. Make it a little tie-dye looking, don't you think? And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those dots. Maybe I'll just kind of use a, a marker in that section. Negative 39 wind chill. Holy moly, huh, Laurel? Have you ever in your life ever seen it this cold? Isn't it crazy? I mean, you, you can't help but talk about it because it's the topic. Paisley, I don't know what's out there, but I don't think it's anything you need to be concerned about that you're growling about. It's my watchdog business. Uh, watch, watchdog's team going on over there. I'm going to put name tags on them. Do you think I can, like, um, I don't know. I love coloring while listening to a color along. It is inspiring, Jamie's saying. Thank you, Jamie. Do you like listening to my dog growling in the other room? Can you guys hear that? Do the markers work the same right, if you color first and then add water? Um, I don't think so. But we can try it. Let's try it. I don't think so. Um, we'll use this page. Paisley, I don't know what the problem is. It's okay. What's wrong? Apparently, she thinks there's something up. Let's try this. So I've got a little bit of red. Um, it kinda, it kinda does, Abby. But I think it would be better if it was just. I mean, look what it does. It spreads across. So there's a good example of that. Um. My podcast is on the top of my website called Art Spot Pad Podcast. Not on my Facebook page, on my website. I don't know what Paisley's problem is, Lisa, but... <sighs> gel pens work with water, too, so what, what will I need to do with the gel pen, Jamie? I've got to do something with Paisley. Paisley, what's the problem? Do you have to go back outside? All right, let's go. Uh, does Miley have a jacket? I don't know what Paisley... Paisley does that all the time. Paisley thinks that she is just like the boss of everybody, apparently. She's very pushy sometimes. She wants to make sure that everyone is just knows where she's going. What do I do with... Um... I'm going to put a link, Holly. What do I do with the gel pens, you guys, to make them have, to make them have water? Here. 
here is the link to my podcast. Um, use write the gel pen, dip paint in water, and it spreads so nicely. Write with the gel pen. Dip the paint. Dip the brush in the water. I got it, Jamie. I got it, girl. All right, so you're saying to, where's my piece of paper, my practice page? This is my practice page. So you're saying do this. All right, so there I spread it. I must be into red today. I'm not getting the effect that I'm thinking I'm supposed to be getting. Is that what it's supposed to do? Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Maybe it's the gel pen I'm using. This gel pen is a kind of a is a cheapo gel pen from the Dollar Store. From Dollar Tree. Hey, I was reading this article the other day, speaking of Dollar Tree, about toothpaste at the Dollar Store that had some sort of antifreeze in it. Crazy. She got a sick blankie from the vet, so I wrapped her up really snug in my lap. Oh, how adorable. Um glycerin with gel pens, or I'll have to get some glycerin and try that. I'll have to give that a try. So this is my finished page from Color Along Volume 10 for today's Color Along. This was a quick one, right? So um, for those of you that have that came in a little bit later, I just want to, I've got to put this aside so it's open so it dries. I just want to um, kind of briefly tell you about Color Along Volume 11 again and what's happening. So Color Along Volume 11 begins on February 4th. And... Uh, people that have this book um, will be let into a private group, and there's also a password-protected page on my website for everyone that's in that private group. And as we go through the color alongs for that for this book, uh, we'll be talking about different artists throughout history and different art techniques. The first one we're going to talk about is pointillism on Monday, uh, February 4th. And this is an example of some of the things that will be put into the group um, and we provided to people that have the book. So this is a packet that we'll be going over about pointillism. This is provided as a PDF in the group. It's in there right now if you've already been part of that group. Um, and then, uh, so we talk about the two artists that were kind of like the inventors, founders of uh, pointillism. And then we talk about how you can apply pointillism to coloring pages. Um, and there's a section that you can have notes. So there's extra information that is provided in the group, and this information is on my website on that password protected page. So this is an example of what happens. The Color Along Volume 11 book is $14.99 for either the PDF or the hard copy book. You can join at any time. You do not have to be part of, you don't have to begin right smack on February 4th. You could join on February 20th. You could join on March 18th. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. So that's what's happening with Color Along Volume 11. Any questions about Color Along Volume 11 as we move along? Um, for those of you that were part of Coloring Camp last week and you want to put um, an image on a t-shirt for the camp t-shirt, you have until this Friday to get that page and it's been extended a little bit because there were people who still wanted to get that information. I'll have to check out Jennifer Stay's uh, videos to see how she does that with the gel pens. <clears throat> Jennifer Stay is danger because she talks about pops then how you had to buy them. I don't understand what that means. Okay, so we are going to, um, I'm going to just, I'm going to sign off. We're going to be back on, um, uh, what's, yeah, what is Pops? I don't know what you're talking about, Sarah. So I'll be back on Friday for Color Along um, with a page from Dawn Boyer's book. And we'll be, uh, she'll be giving away a book on that day also. And we're coloring a page from that book. There's a page on the event page on my Facebook page. You can click on that. You can get that page. You can print it out. And um, I think it's a page with an owl. Oh, Pentel Sparkle Pops. Oh, I don't know about those. Do you think it's sad to leave volume 10, Lynn? It is kind of sad, isn't it? Can you believe there's going to be, can you believe there's 11 volumes? Where's Alexandria? Because Alexandria has been following my color along since the beginning. And, I mean, there's other people, too, but, um, I, volume 10 finished. Unbelievable. Volume 11 about to begin. Crazy.
right? Crazy, crazy, crazy talk. Um, so that's about it. So have a great day, everyone. Stay warm in these crazy temperature areas where you're where the temperature's plummeting. Don't go outside. Um, good day to color. There's a free page on my coloring group. There's one of my doggy dangle pages that I'm using. And um, to stay inside. Go back and binge watch coloring logs. It's a good thing to do on a cold day. Sparkle Pops. I have I've never, ever heard of those, Sarah. I'll have to take a look at those. Okay, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Color Along Volume 11, uh, February 4th. So that's exciting. That's our next Color Along. But we'll be back on... Did the camp shirts get done? No, the camp shirts are not done yet because I need to get everybody's pictures. So uh, Friday is the deadline for those pages. And um, then the pages... Then I'll put everything on there. And it, usually when I submit a, uh, a, a T-shirt... Um, usually when I submit a t-shirt, it's done within an hour. So I'm going to get that done by the, by over the weekend. I don't know what time I put as a limit on Friday. So let's assume that it's like the end of the day and I will work on the t-shirt on Saturday. Okay, everyone. Hey, have a great day. Stay warm. Talk to you soon.